What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How y'all doing? Trump. They brought out the accusers. I think something like 16 or something like that. Mm -mm -mm. I thought he was colluding with Russia. Now, now I think we see the deep state's playbook. You know, like I said, they sacrificed some Hollywood directors, some Hollywood actors. And now they make the pivot towards Donald Trump, President 405. And, you know, there's, I don't know what you can do. You know what I mean? Um, it, it, it's funny, you never heard any of some of these people. I'm like, I never heard any of some of these people's names. Um, you know, some of these accusations are like I think the one lady said he, he kissed me on the cheek and then he kissed me in the lips I was taken aback from by it I, I don't know I don't know I, I do know one thing that the, they failed to get anything I think they see they're failing to get anything on the Russian front so they're going to go to the the sexual accuser. Now, this goes back to what he said on that, what was that film? Uh, the Grab right by the, Grab right in the Pussy film. <laughs> you know, um, and I say this all the time, man. Women treat rich people, rich men, differently. Um, rich, celebrity, whatever you want to call it. They just treat them differently. Now, is that the way the life should be in the world? Uh, no, really, not really. It should treat everybody the same, but you know, you know, you have to, you're looking at you have to look at it from a woman's perspective. You know what I mean? Uh, if you come from a society of hunter gatherers and uh, socialites, you know, and you meet one of the biggest hunter gatherers. I mean, it's not literally killing deer and stuff like that. It's amassing wealth, gathering, you know what I mean? And you meet one of the best that ever did it. You know what I mean? You're going to be look at him a little differently. I don't know what to say. You know what I mean? I don't think... You're not going to get him on this, you know what I mean? And uh, I think Sarah Sanders, uh, Huckabee, said... Uh, I didn't watch the press. I'll watch it later. I, I've seen somebody tweet about it that uh, he answered all these accusations during the election process. And, uh, which is true. I think most of them... I only think, I only think one, one or two came out. I only think I heard about one. And then people were trying to say... Uh, what was his first wife's name? Um, I can't remember her name. Ivanka. Not his, it might not be his first wife, but I think Ivanka said... He, he took it one night or something. I don't know. It was in her book, I think. But this ain't going to go nowhere, man. You know, this is... <laughs> I was always thinking, man. I was like... I, I, I thought it was just a word more. They, they, they were doing all these sexual accusations for it. Little did I know they were going to try to pivot this to Trump. And I think uh, Cory Booker asked Trump to resign over these sexual harassment allegations. I, I thought y'all was going to impeach him. <laughs> Corey's like, he went all the way. He's like, Franken resigned, Conyers resigned, Trump, it's time for you to resign. I'm like, wow. Corey, can't beat him, join him. <laughs> I mean, this is just desperation, man. It's just like... I don't know. I, are the people going to get tired of this Trump? Trump this, Trump that, and the evil of Trump, the Darth Trump? I mean, I don't know. I guess not, but it's it looks a little funny to me. I'm like, you now you're going to try to force him out through uh, allegations? I don't know about that, man. And I don't know about all this stuff anyway, because, 
you know, man, if you got a problem with somebody, take them to court. You know what I mean? Don't like, like the dude from the Chew. I can't. <laughs> My old lady watches the Chew. One of them Chew, uh, one of them Chew chefs just got accused. And he, t- they take him, they tell him to sit down. And he even owned a company. They told him Bartali or something, whatever his name is. They told him to sit down. I didn't even think he liked one. <laughs> no, I think I did, because I think I did hear him say he was married. But he act kind of, I don't know how he, he don't act like he is. Not that there's a way to act, I guess. I don't want to stereotype nobody. Don't, don't, don't flag my video, please. <laughs> but anyway. This is Uncle Do- Okahotep. Happy Monday. Oh, I did a new uh, debate. There's a new debate up. Look at my debate playlist. Me and uh, Axiom TV, we discussed systematic racism. So check that uh, video out. I appreciate it. Um, if you can donate to the cause, PayPal, Patreon, whatever, I greatly appreciate it. Patreon, dollar a month. That's, that would go a long way. And uh, check out my podcast. I think it's 74 up, up or something like that. I think I might try to do one tonight or something. I keep saying that, but I'll try to get one done. Anyway, this is Uncle Hotel. Peace.